Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you may or may not know that very often when cars are on sale or any kind of vehicle, I will buy the car that's on sale and then just stick it in a garage and forget about it. This is partially to save money up for DLCs such as the K.O. Perico Heist, or as I like to call it, the K.O. Pectate Heist. And uh, in some cases, I'm just hoping for a sale on upgrades, you know, which happens every once in a blue moon, but boy, it hasn't happened lately. So after my latest debacle, trying to scout the island of the K.O. Perico Heist, which if you haven't seen that video, um, yeah, I got through like the whole thing. I'm about to walk up to the... Uh, the, the pilot to leave and the game froze and I had to do it all over again, which I haven't done it as of yet. But, uh, so for this character at least. And after that, I felt like, you know, I've done my bit for King and Country. And that was after re repeated failures to that point, And then now, and at least one other crash. So, I decided I needed... To reward myself. So I've been going through my garages on both characters and upgrading the heck out of everything. This includes a lot of Arena War cards. So I ended up spending about oh 15 million on the two submarines because I do I am an Amazon Prime person, so I do get that bonus a free sonar set. So it was like 7.8 million each, so therefore you get around eh, it's around 15 million. And then I proceeded to spend $28 million on upgrading the cars, which should give you an idea of how broken the economy is in GTA. So I'm still cruising at about $38 million, which would allow me to get all the new stuff in Warstock right now for both characters and still have eh, about $8 million left. But we're not going to do that. Not in a sense. I'm not... I think we can go over that, I guess, real quick. Now... I'm glad these things are in the game. Like, yes, the Jeep should be in the game. It's used on the island. If it's available on the island, why should you be able to purchase it? They have to make it available. I The price on that for just a cute, you know, probably highly modifiable cute little Jeep. A little bit high, I think, for the Winky. For the Kurtz 31, I mean, that's probably reasonable. I mean, you're talking about a boat with guns. And a, a Jeremy Clarkson reference. I'll probably get this at some point, but it's not an emergency. You know, there's uh, not a lot to shoot at on the water just yet. You know, I guess you could use it if you wanted to, like, try to assault a, uh, a submarine or something with your friends. But I don't know how well that'll go. It can, it can take a lot of missiles, let alone gunfire. The, um, the bomber, the Alcon, what the hell is it called? Alcon, Alconost. Yeah, it's. It goes stealth at high altitude, but it's just a regular bomber. It doesn't have any more bombs than anything else, which some of this stuff has way more bombs than it should. So, I mean, if you if you want something that will do bombing and you need stealth, I'm fairly certain the Akula will do that. Where is the Akula? I haven't used an Akula in a while. Akula? Where is that black helicopter? It's, it's here. I scrolled past it. The Hunter. There it is. Yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the bomb. This one has bom a bomb bay on it, and if not, you can still swoop in, snap those doors open and closed, and boom, blast the crap out of somebody. It's it's. So if you have an Akula, same thing here for the Annihilator. If you have an Akula, don't really need an Annihilator. I'm not saying I won't buy them both at some point just to have, but you know, no emergency here. Toriador, I'm probably gonna get. I have some special plans for this one though, so. As far as the pay job and some arrangements with it. So I'll, I'll reveal that at a, a later video. That's going to get its own video. No question about it. Good car, though. Um, that, that's a nice addition to the game. But we don't have to get anything just yet. So I'm just going back to upgrading all my cars. And one of the last ones, and, and this is a quick aside, Arena War vehicles, those are what were really killing me. Because, I mean, you get you add the boost to it, it's $400,000. Yeah, the other boost, $400,000. You're going through two, three million a, a vehicle just to get them fully upgraded. And that's not even with any kind of customization. It's just to make them work. The Arena Wars is just such a broken DLC. I may get to use a couple of those today because one of the daily objectives is to play Hot Bomb. So, all right. That, that's a good enough reason. 
But what I'm doing here is I've got my Everon, which has not yet been tweaked up. Now, you you may have seen the, the video that I did where I, I uh, turned this into a Top Gear homage. Because this is the, the truck that they... It's most of this is based on the truck that they took to the North Pole on Top Gear. So I built one that looks like, you know, as close as I could make to the, uh, the photographs of the truck they used to go to the North Pole. But this one I want to go a little bit more radical. I might keep the color scheme. I might keep the Top Gear color scheme here. But we're gonna we're gonna rock this out a little bit harder. Open the doors. Let me go in. What miracle did you want me to Okay, obviously. On? Okay, I think I did do the basics on this. But we didn't do stuff like this, like the bumpers. The polar bar. There you go. Polar bar with the winch. Now consider when you consider polar bar with the winch and fogs. Ooh. Okay, that's that's it. Now, when you consider this was supposed to be the polar truck, and the polar truck didn't have all that on it. It had some stuff, but it didn't have. So I'm going to do those. This, we're going to make this a polar bar truck. Okay, rear bumpers, chrome bumper. Let's do the chrome bumper with the uh, additional reverse lights there, or whatever that's going to be. All right. Engines already up. Exhaust. Angled exhaust, angled dual exhaust or dual exhaust, straight. You want straight or angled. I mean, angled is funkier. But dual exhaust seems like the, the car would breathe just that little bit better. Let's, That's gonna let them not know. that it does anything. Hood, secondary stock hood, carbon, primary hood guard. Secondary middle intake hood. And again, I don't know that I'm going to change the paint scheme, so going secondary primary doesn't really matter. Should we go with the vents or the or the hood scoop? It's such a big motor, big area here. You wouldn't really need to, to ram air to it, I don't think. Let's let the heat vent out. You think that might be more? More effective. If that car was a woman, effective. Yes, Lights. Having seen a video from uh, from Bruffy thirteen twenty two that explains that the uh, lights, even though they don't really have any mass to them, do actually somehow lower the center of gravity of the car. I'm throwing that on everything. Now let's see, look at the liveries. I'm open to liveries, but it's not really a requirement. Children of the Mountain Fellowship. That seems a little bit off here. Let's see. Find out for yourself. Find out about... Find out for yourself. Find out about yourself on the mountain. Yeah, no. We're gonna, harsh souls. Ugh. Disruption logistics. Eh, just foster. I think yeah, we're gonna stick with. No, you know we might go with the with the white stripes. Not <laughs> the white stripes. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. Tattered U.S. flag is that what? What the heck is on the front? Nothing happy. That is an eagle grabbing a guy. No, and it's plate um forty-seven zoo. I guess it's close enough. I don't know if I want to put the seal later on this one. Respray. That's the question. Do we just stick it like this? It's just a hotter version of the same truck. You go metallic. You can make it metallic red. Formula red.
just to give it a little bit more sound. It's the pearlescent. <coughs> Not the Rona. Give you a touch of grace. We could all use a touch of grace. And then secondary color, metallic. Red. Is that just the hood? Is that the only thing that gets the. I guess once I give it something else. And carbon black. Oh, carbon black would give it a bit of a style. And if you were... Of course, that really, you know, defeats the purpose of, like, a, of a low, uh, you know, low-glare hood if you uh, have white stripes out there, doesn't it? But for style points... I mean, nothing else is going to work but black. Or leave it alone. Like, that's dull. There's no, there's no reason. So, you know what? Let's leave it alone for right now. We'll save the money. Roll cage. If there's something really... Uh, containers, roll cage with cat... Roll cage with containers and capped fogs is what I thought would have been good. But actually the, um, oh, did I do that on the other one? Maybe. I think I might have just done containers because I don't think they had the lights on the top either. But we're going we're gonna to make this the more aggressive truck. So the roof, you could do secondary stock roof. And then that would give it a, give you a reason to be black all the way across, all the way up. What is it doing? Okay, that's secondary roof with crossbars, ski rack, roof rack. We could do the secondary roof rack for maximum carrying there. Ski? Nah. I don't ski. Is that the calling? But you know. I also don't go camping, so it's like, you know, I guess it's all the same, but somehow it's more fun. You could put skis on that, I'm sure. You could clip them in. Secondary roof rack. Skirts. Chrome steps one, chrome steps two. Guess that'll be good because snow won't build up on them, so we'll go with chrome side steps too. Spoiler. So I already got the primary flat spoiler on. Suspension. Slam it down. Because I'll tell you, the one thing I've noticed about this truck is it is willowy. Now I have it, the other truck I have jacked all the way up at normal, so it's way up in the air. But put this down, I think it might handle a lot better. Wheel type. We're going to leave that the same. Because there is a bulbous roundness to these that was true for the original trunks. I mean, if you go to off-road, see how it kind of squares them off? I mean, they're bigger, and they look cool, and that's all great. But there's that certain roundness to them, the the bouncy pillowiness to it that I do, you do have to like here. I believe they're already bulletproof. Yes. Windows. I'm on a light smoke kick for a while. And now we go back to respray because now I gotta ask myself. Metallic. What if we take that to metallic, you know, metallic black across the top? Does that make it work better or worse? One or two. One or two. Yeah, it's like that kind of thing. Do I want just straight up red? 
I want to touch of black. Carbon black. Graphite. Can't really tell the difference between the black and the carbon black. Might as well save 25 bucks, right? Alright, let's just do that. How's that luck? That's where it didn't even pull you out. It just kind of teleported you. Does it always do that? And there you have it. It's a little bit more radical version of the truck. Still don't know if I like the black. What kind of camera am I in now? Can you always do that? You can always zoom in from free. The black doesn't work, does it? Nah. I guess it pulls in from the, uh, whatchamacallit. Maybe we didn't have the pearlescent. But pearlescent does give it a cool... F All right, I'm gonna, you know, I'm not going to agonize over it. What I am going to do is take this thing up to it. I'm trying to do a G-Fred hot lap route kind of thing. To the train. This is kind of whoa, okay. It's still willowy. It still it still tends to roll a bit. Okay. <laughs> that, that that is one thing about this truck. It does roll. It is a bouncy, even with the with the suspension slammed down, that was still a quick roll. Now, the Everon definitely has the jelly suspension that a couple other vehicles have. We're gonna spin it around the tunnel. Wow, that is impressive. It would be really even more impressive as if a train comes right now. Okay. A loop de doop de doop. Probably, for reasons of the rolling, not the best car to take on a G Fred run. But we're gonna. Not that it appears in traffic anyway, so you couldn't. But. Unless you're doing a custom Fred. I think Ruffy could do an Everon Fred one of these days just to see. And hello, that's a tree. Sometimes traction wise, you think, oh, this will have no trouble. But, you know, it's very much a matter of does it have the power. Like you think, you think a, uh, a Rusty Rebel would have no trouble with this, but it does. It's. Just because it's a truck. Like, this isn't going up as fast because it lost the momentum. But it doesn't seem to have any traction issues. Unless you go up the wrong way. And then you roll. And then it's rolling. Stop. Stop. Get faster. Come on. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attribute that to operator error more than anything else. Although it was very rolly, very jelly. Okay, I'm laying on the horn here. One of you is gonna die soon. Okay, that guy. Well, I mean, he really just would not get out of the way. Oh, no. I guess that's karma. Save it. Save it. Uh, I'm not even touching the ground. I cannot stop.
It's a resilient card. So we're starting to lose bits. Okay, I think we just have to start over. I will right, get this up the top. I mean, that's just going to be a thing. Ugh. I'm not holding the G-Fred rules here. I will boop this out of a stuck situation. It just rolls. It might roll more with the suspension lowered. How is that even possible? Oh my goodness, now we're turtling. Everything's just coming apart. Oh. So you can see the difficulty of trying to, uh, trying to do a G-Fred. If you know what a G-Fred is, I'll put a link in the description. My goodness, this thing. It may be worse than the Heaven Arrow. Ah, the train! Well, that was almost terrible. Bang! Would survive a train hit? I don't know. Not at this point. I mean, just get killed. All right, we we've lightened it a bit. It's 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 lighter. I've lost the spoiler. You cannot just spin this around with the handbrake. It just rolls. I mean, at least on that surface, that's what it does. This would be good practice for me, should I ever actually get into a G-Fred competition. Keep meaning to start hot lapping that, just to see if, it, uh, if I can get the whole, you know, get the lines down. What? Save it, save it, save it, save it, save it. Come on, come on. Stop. Okay, come on. Use your traction and don't roll over. This is this rolled over a lot more. A lot less, I think, the first time I did it with the other truck. The, the one that was supposed to look more like the actual one the top here used. Okay, minimal input to the steering. You gotta be kidding me! Stop! 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 Okay. Okay. There's nobody here to walk. No more karma to induce. This way. I think this would actually would be easier in a sports car like a 9F, something with four wheel drive. Less willowy. It's a willowy vehicle. Even with the suspension clamped down, I can't get over that. I really thought, oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Stop. Handbrake. Stop. What are you doing? We are going off the dang map here. What the? We're going to go in the water. Oh, once it stops, starts going, it just won't stop. It just rolls and rolls and rolls. Where am I ending up? This has got to explode. I can do nothing. I can do literally nothing. <sighs> Where the hell am I? Okay. I do not know that that's a, a path back up. I did not get to the top. I think the suspension might be worse lowered. I can't explain how. 
But the other truck was not nearly this bad. We have to find a path here to get up. This is not encouraging. I am full throttle and it's not stopping. I'm, I've got it. Brakes. Traction. Okay, we can't. Back down again! Alright, back to the tracks. I'm just letting it fall. I used every trick to lower the center of gravity on this thing and it just rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls and, rolls and here comes a train. Ugh. Okay, third time is the chunk, correct? Correct? Why is this? There's something. There's something off about this truck the way I built it. I don't know what it is. <coughs> and I figured I'd build this one up a little bit, quote unquote, better than the uh, the Top Gear homage because you know Top Gear homage had the fully you know you know the regular suspension, stock suspension. And then if you know for Christmas if I get the chance when the snow comes. I would do a video trying to get this thing up chilly out in the snow from the hot lap side of things. And this was giving you my backup. If the, if the top gear one really couldn't do it, then I'd say. <laughs> it just doesn't want to do that spin around maneuver. Then I'd say, oh, well, I have this one that's a little bit beefier, and we'll do the beefier truck. Beef your truck has had much more difficulty than uh, the other truck ever had. M How many times must this roll? Neither something wrong with the, with the with the custom suspension. I I don't know. You put competition on this thing, it just it goes unbalanced. I mean, I, I don't know what else to think about it. I have to go back and watch that other video. Look, look at that. Just hit a little bit of bump and it wants to flow, flop over. I go back and look at that other video. See if the, the top gear one was this bad. This is bad. And up. Stop. as carefully as possible. It doesn't have trouble with traction. It has a lot of trouble with stability. Um, let's see. Let's test something here. Uh, headlines. Oh, no. Those are covered. Okay. But we can still go high beam, I guess. For the... Got the covered useless lights. But you guess in a true off-road situation, you actually get out, climb up, pull off the covers. Is that so they don't get scratched up? I don't know. I'm not part of truck gang. Truck gang! Maybe out here. You know what truck gang is? Alright, this is the point. I'm gonna do this really carefully. What you're supposed to do is supposed to get here and then turn up. Bang! That will give you the uh, the checkpoint. 
And then you gotta keep it on the rock. No, not the rock. No, nope. Forward. Stop it. Tree. Okay. Tree helped me there for a minute. I've got the traction to get back up, he thinks. Alright. There we go. So now we're at least going down the hot lab route once more. And brakes, brakes, brakes. I did put brakes on this. Is that part of the problem? And I think we'll turn right around. Yeah. And just beat the damn thing down the hill because you know what else is it gonna do? Ugh. It hasn't exploded yet. Yeet! It just rolls and rolls and rolls and oh my goodness it rolls. The last thing that you would one high beam die. <laughs> Everything you do, this thing just rolls. I might jack the suspension up and see if it improves. I really. And there you have it. At least I got down. And for another train. Would we survive the train? Now we're gonna. Oh! Well, I think it just clipped us a little bit. Hit me, train! I want the train to hit me. I want the train to hit me so hard. In the rear. Bang! There we go. Let's ride with the train. Come on, train. We're gonna be a train guy. Train gang. Alright, it's fine. Let me get it back home. That is weird. I mean, this thing should be more stable. It's lower. It just rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls. At least it didn't roll over there. If you do it on, if you do it on pavement, I guess it'll slide. Oh, it did it, but I mean, it did not do it with a plumb. Magically fixed. Look at that. I don't know. I don't know what to think. Maybe it's just my, my driving style today is off. Truck gang. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta know. It's making me crazy. I gotta know. If I put the stock suspension on this, does it make it better? Would it get up and down chilly? I'd better with a stock suspension. I've got to know now. Because that was awful. And What's I want to know, if anything, could that be worse? And I will spend the couple hundred dollars. Jack it back up. Who cares about five grand or whatever I'm spending here? And now we're going to try it one more time. Over the river. Through the woods. Is it better? Is it better this way? Hello, train. Ooh. A little bit of a clip to the rear end there, but we're fine. We got armor. Train. That'll be good luck. A good luck love kiss from the train. I mean, he knows. Oh, goodness. And obviously, if this turns out to be clearly worse, then we're not gonna we're not gonna kill ourselves. But the experiment, the science, must continue.
Okay, we're coming up here. Same thing. First test. Does it roll? It does. But I wouldn't say more necessarily more than the other one. Kaboom. Alright, let's go. If your wheel's jammed out, you get up this hill a little bit. With the, with, the, with the better ride height. Well, not so far. Okay. Okay, so maybe I was just driving a lot better that day. Let's 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 still that's not Maybe having the stuff, maybe having the big bull bars and everything is raising the uh, center of gravity, having the stuff on the roof. Causing it to flip more? Is that the case, maybe? I think it might be. I think that might be the case. Which is an interesting lesson, folks. If you're going to have a truck, don't put lots of stuff way up high on it. Okay, that wasn't necessarily the best path forward. Okay, that went better. That almost didn't go better. That was almost a bounce down the hill. It definitely feels boingier, I think. But it might be a little bit softer and it might be absorbing things a little bit more so it feels boingier, but it might not it might not run out of suspension travel and roll as easily could be a thing. Because it may roll when it bottoms out the suspension. This is just poor on my part, trying to get the right angle so I don't roll it. But hey, let's try this. That probably would not have gotten it. No. I've watched a lot of G-Fords. So right up this angle. Bang! That would have gotten it. We got up high enough there. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Are we going down the right path? I think we are. Brakes are not holding for me here. This could be a case of yeet again. Okay, I'm yeeting it. Yeet! Okay, did a little air control there, but... Uh, ooh. In a stock car, that probably would have exploded. It's not rolling as much, though. It's spinning and it's falling, but it's not rolling as much. Would you look at this? It's it's way better. The brakes. Did I put race brakes on this? Alright, this isn't the way you normally want to go. You want to go up. There. We're going back to the, the... We proved the point. The stock suspension work better I think yeah it'll still roll easy but not as easy with, as with the competition huh it must it because it's lower it must bottom out and then snap it around I mean we have all our doors
All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go do one more thing. Number one, make sure I updated the brakes, because the brakes feel awful on this. What can the best mechanic in LS Prepare do for the vehicle. You? That's what race brakes? That's terrible. And no, the secretary's just not working for me. That does look better. It just does. So I guess we leave it boingy, but not as tipsy. Again, I think there might be advantages to the Top Gear truck for having less mass. Huh. I just to prove a point here, of, just uh, in case you're curious, a little bit of bonus material here. I know I've already done a video with this going up. I don't think that's this one. I think I've done it with the injection going up. The injection wasn't even fully upgraded. Did you see him accelerate there? That was like he was going on at a certain point, and that did jumped out to block me. He, he, he turbo boosted unnaturally at the end there, just to make sure that I had an accident. Should be another train any moment. Da da da! Woo! Yeah, I'm not sure when I get back to the KO Pectate Heist there. Just have to. That looks like it's going to be a bear to do. I mean, if you're into heists, it's great, because there's a lot of detail, a lot of complication. If you're not into heists, then... Well, then, it kind of makes sense. If you're not into heists, and it's a really good heist, and it's really complex, it's probably not going to call it to you, because you're not a heist guy. You know, that's... or gal. Didn't roll, didn't really spin out either, but didn't roll. We bent it up a little bit, but that's okay. Free crawler, let's show you what you can do. You're such a forgotten little car, but. Let's show what you can do compared to the Everon. If I don't drive, look at that. Even though I make a mistake, going completely the wrong way. I think a good bit of my health is gone from crashing these things. Is it going fast? No. Is it going up? Maybe. Okay, everyone's pr not perhaps doing quite as well as I'd expect it. It's doing it. It's not doing it blazing fast, but it's like it's doing it. We're not getting stuck. Come on. Keep that momentum going. Ba-bam. Everone. All right. Did fine. A little widowy, but not nearly as. This could be a truck buying guide. You want to choose what one to use. Now, I mean, grant you, I eventually even got the, the dilettante up here, so. That was the whole purpose of the Happy Birthday EU video, and that's why it's up here, because I took that up chiliad. But look at this. 
That should tell you right there. This this is this thing is a beast. For crawl. I think those are my is that the treads from this truck or the other truck? I don't even know. It's a beast. Not as I don't know that it was as fast going up as the other one, but it was definitely, you know, reliable. And the brakes seem better. The brakes seem a lot better. I went the wrong way. This is not the Everon's fault at all. I went there. I was off by a few degrees. That's why I need to practice. But you notice it didn't. Okay, now it's finally rolling over a little bit. Now. Okay, we're good. We'll just go bound backwards. All right. Look at this. look at it. Look, it's a champ. It's such a champ. Okay, finally starting to take some damage. But this is the wrong way down by a lot. This is the way you go down if you hate yourself. And your vehicle. I don't hate this vehicle. I went the wrong way. Okay, finally we get some roll action here, and I really had to work at it. A little bit of turtle's lamb, bang, 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 bang. Forward <laughs> flipping hell. <laughs> That's. Didn't know I didn't have that already. That's But it did get down. Yeah, we would be able to go oh, here comes the train. Just to show the durability. Yay. Durability. Now, we want, are you guys still interested, do we want to go back and get the injection and show it how old school would do it? Trees. Silly trees. It's a little beat up. I'm not going to do them all. I've already eaten the dilettantes in another video. I've taken the injection up this hill before, but I, I, it wasn't fully upgraded, so I'm curious how much easier is it now? And bang. My other house. Let's see if TBK is going to skip the CEA in pajamas or something. Alright, let's uh, zip over here. Actually, I know he's at Maze Bank, so. Yeah, I get repaired. Obviously, if this is no longer interesting, just click off. But I mean, I'm just curious. Not taking the Sand King up, that probably wouldn't be a great plan. But this fully upgraded BF injection. Not a lot of steering, but it feels quick. Ding. This will be interesting because I think it's, I mean you can get a BF injection for nothing. Just grab them off the street, and it's not a four-wheel drive. At some point, I'm going to have to do a bunch of garage uh, tours and show you off all the other cars. Oh, I just clipped that a little bit. Show you what else is going on. I think I hit that pole every time. We'll show off the millions and dollars of car upgrades, but you'll start to see these cars and races and stuff like that anyway. I may do a hot bomb at some point. Not on this video, though. Oh, dear. A little bit of a video lag there. I'm wondering if I'm getting close to having the comp lock up. Is it doing something else? Is it starting a virus scan? 
Is it transitioning files on backlays? What's going on? Okay. And up we go. Get around all the trees. I don't know if a stock BF injection has got the beans to come up here really easy. Because you can feel it this thing, the engine here doesn't quite have what it takes to really blaze up here like a 9F would, but it's doing as well as, you know, the other two for free for the most part here. You can grab this and then upgrade it on the cheap. I won't say free, but on the cheap. And, you know, a stock one might do it, you know. I'm sure if you watch enough defred, someone tried it. Maybe this is something we can revisit when, we, when the snow returns. But that had the least drama of the lot getting to the top. Oh, look at that. Brakes. Nope. Don't, I'm not going over the side. I'm a BF injection. Just call me BF for short. Now let's please, please, please get the right path down here. A little bit later than what you just did. And then you turn off. Okay, that that's a little bit. He did a bad bump. Okay, it's getting heated. Okay, stop on the... Uh, okay. That might have, we might have gotten stuck on the rocks going forward, but the big wheels in the back. Still not going the way I wanted to go. Yeet! Okay, finally a roll out of the BF. Now I'll lose the door here. Yeah, there goes the door. So, this, this is not as bad as that other way down. And here we are. Okay, that's not the plan. Finally a little drama right at the end. Oh, and then there's a train. Had to show off the resiliency of the VF injection. But it can do it. I think you could argue that it did that a hell of a lot better than the other players. We gotta, we gotta get it home. That's the idea. Thing. Yeet! Eating it, it does it's not a good cornering car. There you go, that's the that's the car you want for a G Fred, in my own opinion. Always seems that whenever someone gets a buffalo, at least when Ruff, Ruffy gets a buffalo, well, more than one people win with buffaloes, they seem to be epic. They seem to do everything pretty well. Obviously, you know, 9F a little, they seem to, 9F seems to snap and roll real easy. Why are you just standing outside my house? What are you looking at here? Get going. The furnace is, of course, the thing, but you can find a buffalo, you do well. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, now truly on that note, <laughs> this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.